A first of its kind agreement happening today between the Cherokee Nation and the U.S. Department of Transportation. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson was in Tahlequah and explains what this newly signed agreement would do for the tribe. A historic moment in Tahlequah on Tuesday, the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Cherokee Nation entered a tribal transportation self-governments agreement, which is the first of its kind. This is a new beginning to a new chapter of government to government relationships with the United States. Uh, and, and, our, and it's our hope as all of Indian country looks on that other tribal nations can and will follow suit. What took a few seconds <laughs> was years in the making. With back and forth negotiations between the tribe and the DOT, the DOT also announcing $120 million will be invested to improve road safety on tribal land. The fatality rate on roadways is double in tribal communities as it is in the rest of the country. This is heartbreaking to all of us at USDOT, and we're looking forward to this funding helping to save lives on tribal land. The agreement allows the Cherokee Nation to oversee its own projects without oversight from the U.S. federal government. Cherokee people, this is about saving communities. We don't just want to save these communities, we want these communities to thrive. And shortly after signing that new compact agreement, they came out here to take a tour of their electric vehicles. And I'm not just talking about these two cars. They had an electric school bus. They later took a tour of the city using two of their electric public transportation buses. Speed up funding because we will get some forward funding out of this. It will allow us to plan farther into the future so that communities and all the people that I talked about will have a better shot at safer roads. The Cherokee Nation brought the buses by using a one and a half million dollar grant from the DOT. This is the first agreements of its kind between a tribal nation and the U.S. government, and we certainly hope in the Biden-Harris administration that is the first of many to come. In Tahlequah, covering news where you live, Mike Wilson, 5 News.